Hello everyone. Welcome to a very, very rainy East Croydon for another episode of none other than Transport Roulette. Two Wimbledon trams in a row, wow. Um, and the new Eddington tram comes this way. Uh, today we're going to be starting here. Uh, East Croydon um, was randomly generated from a list of major interchanges in London this morning. Um, so we're going to head uh, away from here, but what we need to figure out is where are we going? Where are we going? Which mode of transport are we taking? Quickly before this new Addington tram leaves. Oh, there's a staff that coming in. Um, so if you're, on, uh, if you're unfamiliar with um, what we do in Transport Roulette, I have a Python program on my phone, which will be able to generate uh, a random destination mode of transport for us. Are you at a location of more than three routes available? It says. The answer to that is yes. You choose your next journey. You know what, should we go to Beckenham Junction? Let's go to Beckenham Junction and board one of these Stadler Variable trams. I haven't been on one of these for a long time. And sort up my gimbal as well, because it's not it doesn't know where the horizon is quite. It's the first time exploring this part of London in Transport Roulette, it's very exciting. I think I've noticed on the trams it's really cool. I'm not sure if you can see that. The speedo in the rear cab goes up, like when the train's moving. Also, this tram has uh, run for a total of 513,483 kilometres, so it's got an odometer as well. It's effectively a bus on wheels, isn't it? Oh, it's really pouring out there now. Wow, look at that. Is the Elmer's N line just going off there? So ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Beckenham Junction. Quite a big interchange, the tram platforms uh, here are actually separate from the rest of the station. Right, let's roll from here, see what we get. We have bus available, we have National Rail in the form of Southern available, and we have National Rail in the form of South Eastern available. Okay. Bus 228, northbound slash eastbound, three stops. I believe we do actually have a 227 running here, which is incredibly close to 228. So we could totally do that. Bus 228, northbound, eastbound, three stops. Wow, 227, we just got off at, um, here at Ashmere Avenue which is three stops on, yes that bus was full and standing, like really 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 full, um, I actually waited nearly 20 minutes at that bus stop um, in Beckham, near Beckham Junction, um, just because of how awful the traffic was around there anyway. If you want a bit of a um, rundown exactly where we are, we're about halfway between Beckenham Junction and Shortlands uh, in terms of the National Rail Network. Um, I rolled on the bus just in case we had to stay on. Um, we are indeed getting National Rail from here and we are going northbound or eastbound, so we're going northbound, for seven stops. I believe there's something quite interesting going on at Shortlands today, so we'll see. Bromley is, in my opinion, one of the best boroughs in London. I think I've said this before. It's just everywhere just looks so nice. No litter around, greenery everywhere, and it has one of the lowest crime rates in London as well for uh, one of the boroughs. And excellent train links. You can get like in central London from Bromley South in just like 17 minutes. I know a lot of my viewers are from um, the London borough of Bromley. I have a lot of friends in the London borough of Bromley that live there, and I do envy them. Welcome to Shortland Station. The interesting thing I'm referring to, we might be able to see on the station uh, departure boards. Right, our interesting thing, the 15.55 um, to London Victoria via Catford. It's just about to scroll over onto the departure boards now. A Thameslink service. Thameslink running to London Victoria. Platform seems to be relatively empty today. Um, northbound or eastbound seven stops means that we are travelling today to Packham Rye, which is an incredible station in terms of um, National Rail. We've got Southern, Thameslink, 
uh, London Overground unfortunately aren't running today but we've got South Eastern and a plethora of buses as well so um, there's definitely plenty plenty on offer there. Let's wait for our train to arrive and then hopefully record some interesting announcements. Here comes our Thames Inc service, the 1555 Thames Inc service from Sevenoaks to London Victoria, that's right, Thames Inc to London Victoria which we're getting as far as Peckham Rye. Yes, welcome to Peckham Rye everyone. Our programme has spoken, uh, has told us to get the 547 bus, which I don't think exists. I don't think the series of bus, buses runs in that far into the 500s, but closest bus route to 547, and we are going northbound or eastbound for eight stops. I just rolled on the train just to make sure that, because um, it turns out that South Eastern are uh, on strike on the Bexley Heath branch. Southern aren't running and London Overground aren't running, so Thames and are actually the only National Rail operator coming here today, but that's no problem because we are getting a bus from here. Like, instantly when we come up the station, it just does not feel like we're in London anymore. But we are. I'm not too sure what I compare it to, but um, I've just looked up um, the bus we're going to get. We are getting the 363 from here. Oh, which is the closest bus route to 527, 547, sorry. And we are getting that from the bus stop just outside the station, stop Y. Oh, sorry, stop U, this one here, which is 78 is currently out. We're not getting 78, we're getting the 363 to Nile Road uh, is a bus stop. Uh, which is sort of close to Elephant and Castle. We'll, we'll see you when the bus arrives again. Because it's just one of TFL's new toys. This is actually a screen, it's hard to tell, but it is actually a screen that displays one of the bosses that are coming off. 363 to Elephant and Castle is in two minutes. Look at that. See all the bus timetables. Let's go back to live rivals. These are brand new and I believe they've been installed to a handful of um, bus stops around London. These are very, very, very cool. A huge queue of buses, one of them might be ours. It's the back one ours. as an interesting town centre to say the least. I've got a cycle ground here and I got very lost once I seem to remember. Uh, in Bush Road. As we head um, on the 363 towards Nile Terrace, what I'm going to do now is just roll again so that we know uh, which bus route we're going to take next. This is a railway line. <coughs> Might have been. It just looks like a pedestrian. Tram ever itself, I'm not going to get that in Elephant and Castle. National Rail. Oh, challenge, 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 challenge. Right, I, I forgot to input one of these, but we'll select a random number between one and five. And this challenge is a new thing that I'm adding to Transport Relay. You may have seen me do it in Brussels. Right, so our challenge is to take a picture of a lake. Picture of a lake. We can use any route we want to to get a picture of a lake, but we have a maximum of one hour to complete our challenge. So, Google Maps is going to be the old one. There is a lake just there actually. So we're going to get off at the next door, which we originally intended to get off. And then walk to our lake and take a picture. Is that actually a lake? I think that's a lake. Right, Noel Terrace, Noel Terrace ladies and gentlemen. Just got off our 363. And we are going to fulfil our challenge to take a picture of a lake. That puddle there doesn't count, it has to be a lake, not a puddle. 
There is a park just around the corner from here, Burgess Park. So we're going to try and take a picture of a lake there. Aha, uh -huh. I don't know about you, but I think this is a lake. Right, now what do we have to do? We have to take a picture. Right, picture of lake. Taken. That was quick, that was quite a good challenge, wasn't it? We're right next to a lake. I didn't, I literally didn't walk more than five minutes to get here. Anyway, back onto transport roulette. Right, if you, you still have no idea where we are, we are sort of there, so we're Elephant and Castle, Bermondsey sort of area. Um, and <laughs> if you please stop squawking, that would be nice. Um, anyway, we're going to get, it's going to be, have to be a bus from here, because I don't believe there are any nearby train stations. And Southern are on strike, South Bermondsey's not an option. Bus 511. Why is it giving us high number of bus routes again? Southbound slash westbound. Another eight stops, okay. So I believe that's a 363 again. Um, because the 363 is the highest number of boss route at Peckham. I'll just double check that. No, 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 Sonny Jim. Our next closest boss route is actually going to be the 453, which is just across a set of traffic lights. So it's literally during one minute, so you're going to need to be quick if we're going to try and make it. There's the 363. There's our 453. 453, which we'll be getting for eight stops in towards London. Five, three, two, Alright, welcome to Lambeth North Station. Whoops, <laughs> I didn't spot that we we're pointing up at the sky there. It's a very nice sky, but I think that's not really the subject of our video, is it? We are here at Lambeth North Station. We've struck some gold with our um, number of stops. So our bus. It's very cool seeing the um, London Eye in the distance. Lambeth North, um, we've got lots of buses here, and of course we have the Bakerloo line, which is available to us. That is uh, Walkley Station, just on the bridge in the distance. Um, although that is a bit too far away, uh, Lambeth North is strictly speaking our closest station. We are doing another challenge from here. Another challenge, another challenge. Let's get it to generate a random number. Five, challenge number five. What is challenge number five? I really like these challenges, sir. Our challenge is to take a picture of a train built before 1990. I was literally talking about Waterloo Station just now, wasn't I? Let's get on this 453 to Waterloo Station. I'm pointing at the sky. It's Big Ben just in the distance there. Oh, I really did not think about that. We could have definitely got a picture of the Bakerloo line stock. Anyway, let's see if we can find the bus from here that will take us to Waterloo. Not one of these stupid overpriced tour buses. Right, finally arrived at Waterloo Station's ticket hall. Or one of Waterloo Station's ticket halls. We're going to see if we can get a picture of a Bakerloo line train. And our programmers conveniently told us that we are going on the tube uh, a further uh, two stops. Okay, there's a train just leaving now. We're going to be able to get a picture of the train pre-1990. Okay, we've got a picture. It wasn't a very good picture, but it was a picture nonetheless. We saw one. Okay, we have three lines we can get from here. Nor Jubilee Line, Northern Line and uh, Bakerloo Line. The Waterloo and City Line is closed today, so we all uh, do uh, roll one or two for the Bakerloo, three or four for the Jubilee, and five or six for the Northern. 
And of course you roll seven. And seven again. One. So we are getting the Bakerloo line from here. And I'll be going south or westbound because the Bakerloo line goes both south and westbound from here. So even southbound or for, west, or for eastbound. Is it, oh yeah, it's odd, odd westbound, even eastbound. So we're going five stops uh, westbound from here. You get lots of lines like this, it's really complicated to work out which line you need to go on, but the key to it is just to keep generating random numbers. Green spot drain in three minutes. One, two, three, four, five. We're going to Regent's Park. Regent's Park station is very, very close to Great Portland Street, so we'll say uh, we'll say that we can change for the Circle Palmer Smith and Metropolitan lines there. It'd be very nice to go on these trains. Huge gap between the station, the uh, train, and the platform here because of the curve. So it's always a treat to travel on these old Bakerloo line trains. They're just so fun to travel on and I really hope um, that they stay in service for as long as possible. We just got off here at Regent's Park Station and just look at that how the doors closed at slightly different times, it's just so characterful. Uh, anyway, let's see what we're doing from here. platform here is deserted. It sounds like there's a lift all the way up to the uh, top of the platform as well, which is interesting. All the um, Bakerloo line services seem to be saying they're held as well, which is interesting. Finally, something that we can do. Bus 291, south slash westbound, nine stops. 291. There's a lift up to street level from the platform. I have a question for you. Can you think of another station which has... Oh, it's this one. Can you think of another station on the London Underground Network which has lifts to street level? Right, the closest route to 291, I believe, is the 205. So we're going to get the 205 from here. That's going towards Paddington Station, so I believe Nine stops would probably be all the way to Paddington Station, I'm not too sure though. Here comes the bus to 205 which we're taking to the terminus at Cleveland Terrace. He's going to come all the way back to the bus stop, isn't he? Very cheerful bus driver. You know these interesting facts which you learn somewhere about London and then you just <laughs> you did, you're able to just regurgitate them when needed. You see this building on the left here, just um, on the left of the St Mary's Hospital Arch, on the second floor of this building was where penicillin was discovered by Alexander Fleming. This building here. Let's have a lovely sunset as we go on to Parade Street, look at that. Welcome to Paddington, or somewhere near Paddington. Here is the Elizabeth Line station here, I'm not actually too sure if the Elizabeth Line is running today because it's a train strike. Hopefully it is, and we'll have somewhere to <laughs> get the train. You can hear trains leaving the station, I think they'd be like GW or Heathrow Express. <laughs> It's really strange, it's like prime like restaurant nightclub time, it's like 6 o'clock and there's hardly anyone around, it's really quite strange. Yes, that's what, exactly what we're looking for. Elizabeth Line, eastbound, 10 stops. Let's try and work that out. Obviously with the Elizabeth Line through running now, um, that does mean that we're going to be able to get an Elizabeth Line all the way across towards the east of London, so towards Abbey with Canary Wharf, alternatively. Uh, towards Stratford Shenfield. Yeah, Elizabeth Line's running. So Shenfield, four minutes. We'll get that one, shall we? And we'll work out how many um, ten stops. So where are we going? I again completely ignore the architecture here. It's lovely, isn't it? Paddington, possibly my favourite Elizabeth Line station. And our Elizabeth Line train, which is three four five zero five nine. 
Fun fact for you about the Elizabeth line. The least busy part of the train, I'm sure you already know this, but the least busy part of the train on the Elizabeth line is always in the middle. Because the entrances and exits at most stations, including here at Paddington, are usually at either end. And the Elizabeth line can be particularly overcrowded on weekdays. Oh, the new train smells. If you happen to be travelling on a weekday, then yeah, go towards the middle. I believe um, the speed limit on the Elizabeth line is something like 100 kilometres an hour, which is quite impressive. That's faster than the Victoria Line Jubilee line. I'm literally, just just as I've been filming, we've already arrived at Tottenham Court Road. It is fast, isn't it? Twilight is arriving to Stratford. It's quite impressive, I'm gonna lie. Paddington to Stratford in just 18 minutes. Purple train, purple sky. That's quite a nice shot, isn't it? Look at that. Purple train, purple sky. Anyway, um, I really do hope you enjoyed this video. We stopped at East Croydon, we went around South London, then we went through London, and we're back out here at Stratford. So yes, thank you very, very, very much for watching this video. I really do hope you've enjoyed. Thank you for watching till the end. It's goodbye from me. Goodbye from the Elizabeth Line. Hello, Central Line. And I'll see you next time. Bye, everyone.